previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Everything in the universe starts out as just a block. What comes of those blocks is up to those who wield them. And in every block, there lies the potential to create or destroy. Our friends have traveled far and wide in search of the Order of the Stone. And a way to stop the Wither Storm for good. But even well-laid plans can go awry. The strong can grow weak. And beloved heroes can fall. threat to this world, to its very existence, is far from over. Witherstorm isn't dead yet, not even close. The what? Do I know you? Jesse, Jesse, where are you? Say something, Jesse! We're coming! No way, no way! You found Petra? Who is Petra? Get out of here now! This way! Jesse! You made it! Uh, Petra? Your missing friend? Look out! Uh, uh. Those Endermen are running the wrong way! They'll be killed! Soren? I can't stand by and watch! Soren, what do you think you're doing? These Endermen are running directly into danger. You're putting us in danger every second you just stand there. Jesse, they're falling behind. Actually, you gotta move faster. He's too sick. This is the best we can do. They're not gonna be able to outrun it. Not on foot. We gotta find a way to move faster. We're all gonna be caught in the tractor beam. We need transportation. Anyone seen a minecart? I think Axel still has one from the Nether, but it won't help. We need to lay down too much track. We'll have to use the next best thing. Everybody, get on! Jesse, we got this. We'll take the reins, and they can just hang on. I'll take Gabriel. Then I've got Petra. Hold on, this might be a bumpy ride. <laughs> Come on, horses! Here. 
Watch out! Sorry. Excellent horsemanship, Jesse. Is that what this is called? Actually, freaking made it. Jesse, Petra was saying some pretty weird stuff back on that horse. She was inside the wither. She might have wither sickness. I don't know. You never acted the way she's been acting. I'll go talk to her. Hey, how are you feeling? I don't really feel... Myself? I still can't believe you're even alive. Do you not recognize us? I'm Axel. This is Olivia. She doesn't know us. Any of us. But we've known her for... Practically forever. I know. I, I, I know, but look at her. Jesse, this is awful. You, Jesse. You're the one who rescued me. Tell me, please, what is going on? All I remember was endless blackness. You were caught in the Witherstorm for a long time, Petra. Really? I can't remember any of it. All I know is, I was so scared in there. I thought for sure I was dying. Well, you didn't. You made it back alive. We didn't all make it back, though. Oh, man. Magnus. For a second there, I almost forgot. Are we talking about Magnus? Yeah. Oh, Magnus. Couldn't believe it then. Still can't believe it. How? How could this have happened? To lose not just a friend, but a member of the Order of the Stone! All I know is he'd want us to keep fighting no matter what. And for us to keep blowing the crap out of stuff. <laughs> You're right. He would. Indeed. Ma! Being emotional is getting us nowhere! What I want to know is what happened out there today. Why is that thing still alive? My instructions were simple. You tell me. Excuse me? Well, you're the one who thought we could destroy the command block with a big old bomb. So the command block is still out there? Of course it is. Oh, great. And now, to make matters worse, we've gone from one weather storm to three. Our plan was a total failure. I should have cast the foul thing into the abyss. Look, our plan didn't work, so we obviously need a new one. The question is, what do we do? Well, why are you asking me? Am I expected to know every last thing in the universe? <sighs> I need a moment to think. 
Is he always like this? You have no idea. That jacket, it looks familiar. Lucas always wears that jacket. No, I saw other people wearing it when I was being thrown from that dead monster. Ugh, even thinking about it hurts. Hey, hey, it's okay. Jesse, if what Petra said is true, I mean, do you think? Lucas, your friends could still be out there. I know, and that means I, I gotta go after them. They might need me, Jesse. <gasps> the room, everything's spinning. It's okay, easy does it. Jesse, hello. Just making the rounds. You feeling any better, Gabriel? Better is relative. A battle with the wither storm sapped the last of my strength. Considerable though it was. You need to rest. You're right, I do. Look, Jesse, wherever you decide to go after this cave, give him some time to get his strength back. Problem is, we don't have time. Jesse's right. In fact, it might be best if my journey ends here. This cave is safe, easy to defend. It's relatively comfortable. I might even find a shred of peace. If that's what you feel is best, then I support it. You've been through too much as it is. Thank you, Jesse. I'm just sorry that I can't be there for you. Me too. <sighs> Nothing had to turn out like this. If the order had just been different, if we'd made smarter choices, Ivor wouldn't have turned into a maniac and... Well, maybe Magnus would still be alive. Let's just let bygones be bygones. We've all made mistakes, including Ivor, right? Well, nothing's quite that simple. But I appreciate you saying that. All this talk of the past has me exhausted. You need to rest. Will he be okay? I honestly don't know. Just get back out there and kick some butt for the both of us. Gravel? No. Dirt? <clears throat> don't think so. Lucas, what are you doing? I told you, I'm going after my friends. I thought the other ocelots were dead, but if they're not, I need to go find them. Look, I am grateful to you guys for bringing me this far, but I can't leave them alone out there. You're right, they do need you. And the best way to help them is to help us beat that monster. That sounds right, but it just doesn't feel right, Jesse. But Lucas... Look, you and me, we've made a pretty good team so far. I'd even call us friends. So I hope you'll understand why I need to go help my old friends. They do it for me. Same way you'd go back for any of your friends. I can't believe I'm saying this, but if your heart's telling you to go, then you gotta go. Otherwise, you'd be heartless or something. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. I'll find them. And then I'll find you again, too. I promise. Thanks. Soren. I said I needed some space, Jesse. Actually, you said you needed time to think. So, did you think of anything? Not really. I'll let you know if I do. over cobblestone might come in handy.
Petra, how are you doing? Are you remembering things yet? I... I don't know. These little flashes keep coming back to me, but then they float away again. We've been trying to talk to her, but... It's like she's never met us before. I know I've met you before. Before today, I mean. I just don't remember... how, exactly. I keep seeing a... dark alley? But then that turns into trees. And that turns into... being way up high, above a river. You totally came to my rescue in the forest, remember? I think... that pig was there, right? Reuben, yes! And he was better at fighting than you, right? Uh, hey, I, I wouldn't say that. Yes, it's working. You're remembering Jesse. Do you remember me, too? No. And yet, I feel like I know all of you, somehow. Maybe it's the way you're dressed. Of course you know us. We're the Dead Enders. The Dead Enders? Wait, didn't we all fight that... Wither thing together? Yes! We totally did! She remembers it! I remember running to a, a, a temple in the woods and we were gonna be safe there and how did I end up inside that thing? Um, well... Something bad happened there. I, I couldn't save you. Things were happening so fast and it, that thing was powerful. Well, thank you for trying. Um, uh, sure. All that matters is you're with us now. And that you're still a fighter. The best one I know. So, what do you say? Will you be part of our group again? All right. Count me in. Ugh, a pig? <laughs> Reuben! Run off on me like that, okay? <laughs> Petra didn't mean it, Ruben. She's just not herself right now. Yeah, I know. I, I wish she would get better, too. I hate to say it, but the order failed. Part of me was still holding out hope that they could fix things, but I guess I should have known better. You're really not making me feel better, Reuben. That's what I said, isn't it? Well, just as you once helped us before, this isn't about the past, it's about the future. There are three of those things now. You say that like it's my fault. It is your fault. Oh, take responsibility for what, Soren? I did that by locking the command... Soren, you need to listen to me. Oh, what good has ever come of that? Haven't you done enough, Ivor? Like, say, single-handedly destroying the entire world? Well, technically I set in motion a series of events whose end result appears to it's be... It's the same thing! What you don't understand is, you are all in very grave danger. Obviously! No, I mean specifically this group. The Witherstorm isn't acting randomly. It's following Gabriel. Gabriel? You see, I may have programmed it to follow his amulet. You mean the Order's amulet? Oh, don't be so dramatic. Did you also know I was the one he gave the amulet to? What? I... I didn't know. Ah, oh, Ivor, you fool. You've created a monster that's following Jesse, and it's only getting stronger. You don't think I realize that? Nothing can stop those things. Nothing even hurts them. Well, except Enderman. Enderman? Jesse's right. The Wither's gaze passed over them, and they went wild. We actually just saw a bunch of Endermen pull blocks off a Witherstorm. 
So... So, enough of them working together might be able to destroy a wither storm entirely. It's a promising concept, at least in theory. But to actually destroy a wither storm, we'd need hundreds of them. There's probably more than enough of them taking refuge in my fortress. An unintended side effect of you flooding the end. This is just like the old days, Soren. You and your crazy ideas... Hush, Ivor, for once! Ugh. Question is, how to bring the Storms and the Endermen together? Endermen aren't pets. They don't follow orders. The Witherstorms are already chasing us. If we just get them to chase us to your fortress again... Yes. Yes, that's it! They'll be caught between a rock and a hard place. If we can't bring the Endermen to the Witherstorms, we bring the Witherstorms to the Endermen. Just one problem. You're forgetting about the command block. Ugh. Yes. It's clear now that no weapon can destroy it. Not even a formidable. Actually, I may have a solution to that. You see, when I first took possession of the command block... You mean, stole it? Yes, well, I created a failsafe. A backup plan, just in case. What kind of failsafe exactly? An enchanting book. One that contains the power of the command block itself. Use it to enchant a weapon, and you'll be able to smash the command block to bits. Forever! Yes. Yes, that's it! It could very well solve all our problems. What are we waiting for? Let's go get that book! Just one problem. It's at my secret lab, which is sort of far away. How far could it possibly be? Let's just say it's the farthest place a person can travel before being utterly... Oh dear, what was that? How did it find us so quickly? It just keeps coming for us. Well, we can't stand around and wait for it. Guys, there's a reason it's been following us. Ivor says it's because of the amulet that Gabriel... Ivor? Well, I'll be. It is you. A pleasure, as always, Eligard. Anyway, Ivor's figured out that Witherstorms are drawn to the amulet, so we're gonna lure them back to Soren's fortress and destroy the command block with an enchanted super weapon. You figured all that out just now? The point is we need to get moving. We aren't safe. Not as long as we have that amulet. I'll take it. You can't. I can, and I have to. Axel, thank you. Yeah, I haven't actually done it yet. Still, I am so proud to call you my friend. Same here, Jesse. You just go make that super weapon. I'll meet you back at Soren's Fortress. Well, I want to go with Jesse. That feels like where I belong. Me too. But what do we do about Gabriel? The rest of you go. I'll take care of Gabriel. Are you certain? Yes, I owe him that much, at least. Besides, I'm not going anywhere with Ivor. But Lucas is out there all by himself. There's nothing you can do for him now. Everyone, take good care of yourselves. You too. Hey, Jesse. Let's try our handshake again, just once for the road. The redstone wrap? You got it. <laughs> I'll see you at Soren's, all right? Not if I see you first. there.
Are we there yet? No, 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 we are not there yet. It's never been so sore in my life. Not that I remember. It feels like we've been riding forever. I am telling you, we cannot go to the Far Lands. They're not just the edge of our world, but the limits of our comprehension. Oh, please. The Far Lands are a happy accident. Nature's way of keeping life interesting. No, no, no. They are perilous and unpredictable. Perlin noise, floating points. These are not matters to be toyed with. Hold on, back up. What exactly are the Far Lands? Are you being serious? The Far Lands lie at the very edge of all things, where logic gives way to chaos. They're a dangerous place to visit, and a ridiculous place to construct a laboratory. <laughs> Just wait until you see it. Do those two never stop arguing? You asking me? All I can think about is food. No kidding. I'm starving. Maybe we should turn back? This isn't the time. Swamps are too dangerous. You never know what might be lurking around. What was that? My stomach. Guys, we can't turn back now. Not after coming so far. Fine, but I'm taking a break. So am I. We mustn't linger long. The Far Lands are just beyond this swamp. So this could be our last chance to find food? <laughs> Potato, you're coming with me. It's not much, but it'll help. Like they say, two potatoes is better than one. I think they say that. Hey, Jesse, have you found any food? I should probably take what I have back to the group. It isn't worth it, Jesse. Witches hate trespassers. Besides, there are plenty of potatoes around. Is that a witch? Jesse, we shouldn't be here. Witches are very strong. Let's get out of here. Good idea. <laughs> Guys! Jesse, did you find any food? Actually, yeah, some potatoes, but it'll have to wait. There's a witch nearby. We saw her creeping through the swamp. And... She's here! <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Watch out for her potions. <laughs> See you later, you nasty old thing. Witches and skeletons? That's a deadly combination. Her potions combined with their arrows? Oh, we'll all be killed. We need to distract them. Get out of here. Fine. But how? The rest of you. Go! Hold them off. What? Ivor, no. There's no time to argue. Just head for the corner of the glitch wall. The what wall? Hey, you witch. You're not the only one who can throw a potion. Come on! Guys, I think we lost them for... Wow! 
You lost them for WoW? What is that? Oh. Wow. It's like we're at the edge of the world. Actually, we seem to be at the corner of it. Welcome to the Far Lands, my friend. I'd feel a lot better about going into this crazy wall thingy if I wasn't still hungry. At least Jesse found those potatoes. That might be the saddest sentence ever uttered. Quite a sight, isn't it? Stretching skyward in all its glory. Soren, have you been here before? Not here specifically, but I have visited the Far Lands. The Order traveled far and wide during our heyday. Feeling kinda overwhelmed right now. You're not the only one. How can Ivor live here? I mean, it's one thing to build a wool world inside the end, but this... Oh, I doubt he lives here. He most likely comes here only for his most secretive research. Whatever Ivor is hiding in here, it will be extremely well guarded. This way, I suspect. I'd feel better about this if Axel and Lucas were here. Come on! Is this... a maze? It would appear so. A massive one from the looks of it. If Ivor used the command block to build this, it could hold unspeakable peril. Why do I have a bad feeling about this? Because some part of you still knows Ivor. Unfortunately, this seems to be the only way forward. There has to be another way. A secret door, or... I don't know. Followed Ivor to the Far Lands, we might as well keep going. Here we go. Into another dungeon of doom. thing I've ever seen. The Far Lands may be perilous, but they are indisputably fascinating. We should probably keep moving. A stone waterfall, huh? Only in the Far Lands. Guys, looks like this is a... Oh no! Jesse! There's too many! We can't fight them all! Everyone, back! <sighs> Guys, caught in the vines! <laughs> well, that worked. I suppose. Yeah, I guess. But now what do we do? We're all separated. Let's just head that way and find a place where the pads connect. Sure hope they don't get lost in there. I hope I don't get lost in there. Hey, that must be Ivor's lab. Wish it was a little closer. I think it's safe to say the Far Lands are strange.
Yikes! Shoot! You have got to be kidding me. Olivia! a way across. Looks like Ivor kept some redstone dust handy. And a slime ball. Pistons. I wonder what this thing's supposed to be. Hello? Anyone? Olivia, is that you? Jesse, there you are. <coughs> I thought I'd never find you. Am I glad to see you guys? Us too. I thought Reuben and I would be lost in here forever. <coughs> this maze? We don't have time for this. Who even knows where the others are by now? I mean, the clock's ticking here, Jesse. Well, at least we're back together. Yes, the dream team reunited. 
Now the Dream Team's just gotta find a way across this gaping bottomless pit. What about this thing? Could it get us across? It's some kind of flying barge. It would probably get us to the other side. But it's in really bad shape. And it's really complicated. You can fix it though, right? I don't know. I think it's out of my league. I wish I'd had more time to study with Eligard. Can't be that complicated, not if it's something Ivor built. Half built, which means it was hard enough that he got stuck and gave up. This layout doesn't even make any sense. What was Ivor thinking? Or maybe it's just me. I mean, Eligard herself said I don't have what it takes to be a great engineer. She was right, I just can't hack it. I might as well be a carrot farmer. So prove her wrong. Show the world what you're made of. Prove her wrong? Jesse, she's the greatest redstone engineer ever. She's in the Order of the Stone. Sure, but the Order are still people, just like us. Right, just like us. I mean, how are we the ones saving the world when even they don't have what it takes? Soren and Ivor are always at each other's throats. The greatest warrior in history has wither sickness? None of them give Eligard any respect. And Magnus lost his life trying to fight this. If the Order can't do this, how are we supposed to? How are we supposed to do anything? All I know is the world is depending on us. And maybe the world is in trouble. I mean, they defeated an Ender Dragon. Can you name even one thing we've done right? And I don't mean managing to stay alive. Something that actually matters. Well, we won that building contest at Endercon. That was a contest, Jesse. Right, and the competition was stiff. Just think what we can do when there's nobody even watching. I like that way of looking at it. Ah, all right. I'll try it one more time. Wait a second. I think I see what he was trying to do. Jesse, take this piston, craft it into a sticky piston, then place it on the other side of the barge, along with a redstone block. You got all that? I think so. Okay, let's put the redstone block where it's supposed to go and place these pistons. Holy cow, we did it! We need flint and steel to get it started. I'm proud of you, Olivia. Thanks, Jesse. And thanks for everything you said just before. It really helped. No problemo. This way! This way! Run! Everybody get on! Quick, onto the barge! Everyone okay? For the moment. Slime! I'm remembering something with slime. And 
chickens. Or maybe they were ducks? Yes, at Endercon. So Endercon is a chicken convention? Uh, no. I would love to go to a chicken convention. Wait, Ugh, it's already fading. Fading and gone. Take my advice, Petra. Some stories are better left forgotten. That was amazing. Get it? Amazing? Tinkering with the Far Lands is nothing to laugh about. Let's go see what he's hiding in there. How can one person need this many books? We should be careful. This place could be booby-trapped. Let's just start looking for the enchanting book. A brief history of cubism. Crafting for noobs, revised. A collector's guide to precious gems. None of these are enchanting books. How to train your slime. The various uses of mushroom stew. Potionology, volume 24. None of these seem to be enchanting books either. Find anything yet? Huh, in this mess? Uh, it's as though Ivor learned nothing from my lectures on organizational methodology. If only he hadn't tried to fight those cursed witches, he could just tell us where the book is. Coming here was his idea. We don't need Ivor, we can find this book on our own. Ha, in this mess? Are you mad? There's neither rhyme nor reason to how these books are stored. Finding anything here is impossible. Tedious, maybe. Impossible? No way. Fine, I will continue this monotonous search. But I reserve my right to grumble about it. It's a deal. All these potions, uh, arranged just so, it seems familiar somehow. We... Stole a potion from Ivor, didn't we? Around when the chicken thing happened? Yes, Axel took it. I knew it! And then because of that, when the wither went crazy, Ivor didn't have any way of disabling it. I don't remember that part. Harsh potions, stinky potions. Ivor's got everything except a potion for memory. Jesse. Am I gonna be okay? Every time I think I'm getting better, it all just slips away again. Of course you will. Sooner or later, it will all come back. Thanks, Jesse. I really needed that. Even if you are just telling me what I want to hear. Wood planks, those will be useful. Hey, Olivia, I think there's some redstone over here. Looks like a circuit. We probably just need a lever to power it. Too bad I don't have one. Yeah, no lever, no functioning circuit. First, I'll need some sticks. Okay, got the sticks.
There we go. Good old-fashioned lever. Like, it was made for it. Which it was. Let's see what this sucker does. Cool! Why would you build a secret passage in a house that nobody ever visits? More like, why wouldn't you? Secret passageways are cool. Good point. What the? Are you guys okay? We're fine. But the lever isn't working anymore. Stay there. We'll head down and see what we can find. Whoa. What is all this? Ha! Huh. Incredible. He's gathered them all in one place. Gathered what, exactly? The treasures of the Order of the Stone! Oh, the stories I could tell about these dusty old things. I don't see any enchanting books, though. Maybe through there? Uh, locked, of course. There must be some way to open it. I think those are gas tears. These gas tears, they're super hard to get. You don't know the half of it. It was our first official mission as the Order of the Stone. We fought those ghasts for hours, and these tears were our reward. Wow. Jesse, what are you doing? Uh, taking this really cool, rare item. We might need it to unlock that door. Uh, very well. Just be careful with it. See? No way. Is that what I think it is? Sorry, is this the actual Ender Dragon egg? Uh, alas, yes. The only thing that remains of our final adventure together. No way I'm leaving this behind. So why does Ivor have the treasures of the Order of the Stone? Did he steal them? No, 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 no. We, we let him keep them when we split up. You let him keep your treasures? Frankly, Jesse, it's a long story. Am I crazy or is... This is Sea Lantern. Ah, the very same one the Order built all those years ago. Oh, we were so green back then. It looks just as bright as on the day we crafted it. Sea Lantern, huh? These are prismarine crystals. You can only get these underwater, right? Precisely. We nearly ran out of oxygen getting these. <laughs> Elagard had to use a spare bucket just to grab a few extra breaths. We used most of these to craft a sea lantern. This is all that remained. Prismarine is such a cool word. Prismarine. So where'd this packed ice come from? We brought it back from the Ice Plains Spikes biome. It was colder there than anywhere we'd ever been, but <laughs> Magnus slipped so many times our laughter kept us warm. After that, we knew we were ready to face the Ender Dragon. Ooh, cold and slippery. Aha, a hopper. 
Why is Ivor hiding a hopper in his basement? Looks like a regular hopper that's hooked up to a bunch of redstone circuitry. Man, Ivor sure does love his puzzles. Huh, five slots. Ice. Let's put it here. A sea lantern. In you get prismarine crystals. Into the hopper. Ender dragon egg. So cool. Let's try it here. Yes! You solved it. But how in the world did you know what order to put them in? There were 120 possible combinations. Everything I needed was in your stories. Nice work, Jesse. You know, I often give Ivor a hard time, but for all his complaining, his time with the Order clearly meant a great deal to him. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, let's go get that enchanting book. By the stars, the Ender Dragon. With replica ender crystals and all. Wow. I always wondered what it looked like. Hmm. No way out. Hmm. Interesting. That's a sword. Well, banner of a sword, anyway. Hmm, that's redstone. Bow and arrow, great weapons. I pressed all four, but it isn't doing anything. Soren, what's this thing supposed to be? It appears to be an homage to our battle with the Ender Dragon. Despite his anger, Ivor never stopped being fond of us. <laughs> and these are supposed to be the Ender Crystals? Scale models of them. They were the secret to the dragon's demise. A secret, huh? Maybe you should tell me the whole story. Ah, <sighs> if only you'd been there. It was a fight for the ages. We'd spent weeks preparing for our greatest battle ever. But even so, Ender Dragon was stronger than even I had imagined. I realized that it was drawing strength from the Ender Crystals, and that the crystals had to be destroyed. I hit the first with a perfectly placed arrow. The second I destroyed by launching myself on the shockwave of Magnus' TNT. Using only my strength and my wiles, I steered the foul beast toward the third crystal. I flew the dragon directly toward the final crystal. Only then did Gabriel deliver his famous final blow. Yeah. We became heroes, and eventually, legends. The greatest the world has ever known. It was absolutely amazing. They didn't call us the Order of the Stone for nothing. wonder if that story will help me solve this puzzle. So Soren rode the dragon, huh? Hey, Reuben, give me a boost, will ya?
Aha! Aha! There's another door? No, it, it can't be. Not here. But that's impossible. Ivor couldn't have these in a basement in the Far Lands. Right, Soren? He kept them. The fool actually kept them. He looked me in the eye and swore he was going to dispose of them. Soren, you said destroying these crystals was the key to defeating the Ender Dragon. You did kill the Ender Dragon, right? Jesse, this isn't... This isn't what it looks like. Our story, uh, the story, it's, it's mostly true. I swear, I swear it. Whatever you're thinking, I promise I can explain. So what really happened, Sora? If you didn't destroy the Ender Crystals... I, I can't. We swore never to speak of it. I think it's time to start talking. <sighs> I'm afraid I haven't been honest, Jesse. We did defeat the Ender Dragon, but it wasn't... Exactly, like I said. How not exactly? We got rid of it, but we didn't kill it, per se. In fact, we didn't even fight it. We didn't even try. We want the truth. We used that damned command block. You... Used the command block to defeat the Ender Dragon? I'm afraid so. Understand. When I found that blasted block, we were nobodies. But with its help, we became stronger. Fast, we could do so much more. The others had no idea what I was doing. Yet the more I used it, the more we came to depend on it. I knew it was only so long before someone would find out. So, I concocted a plan. I would use the command block to blink the Ender Dragon out of existence. Securing our status as legends, forever. We told the world we defeated the dragon. Why would you do that? You, you lied, even to your closest friends. All I can say is... I was a fool. So you finally admit it. Soren, how could you? I've... How long have you guys been standing there? Long enough that they heard the whole thing. You lied to the whole world? You didn't think you could keep it secret forever, did you, Soren? The truth hurts, doesn't it? You knew about all of this, didn't you, Ivor? Of course I knew about it. I was in the Order from the very beginning. Soren, Gabriel, Magnus, Eligard, they agreed to keep this a secret. And you, you agreed to stay quiet too, in exchange for all of our treasures. <gasps> I've technically never told anybody. Jesse discovered the truth on his own. So this whole thing, the wither you unleashed, it's all been to teach the Order a lesson? To teach the world a lesson! To show you who the Order really are! Liars! Cowards! Ivor, you're a madman! In all your 
you're scheming to expose the order, you've nearly destroyed the known world. My wither plan obviously backfired. You think? I didn't know we'd end up with three of those things tearing the world apart. Oh, I almost forgot for a moment. Which brings us back to why we're here. We need to destroy that command block. Like now. Jesse's right. Destroying the command block is all that matters anymore. How ironic that the best thing the command block gave us was the very means to destroy it. Spare us the poetry. It's not your strong suit. I've had this book for years. So the enchanting book, what do we do with it? You craft a weapon, then put it on an anvil. Follow me. I'll show you. Ivor, I'm sorry. About everything. Yes, well, it doesn't matter now. Grab some ingredients and craft a weapon. Wait till you enchant it. Let's see what this enchanting book is made of. Behold, my enchanted diamond sword. Yes, that should do the job nicely. But if you're fighting those wither monsters head on, you'll want better armor too. I enchanted these for the order. They're about as strong as it comes. TNT! Any preference? I have eight different sets to choose from. All right, let me take a look at them. It's all... All right, this is the set. Yes, a fine choice. Now, go ahead and put it on. for action. You can take some for your friends as well. Sounds good to me. Wow! Cool armor, Jesse. Thanks. And there's plenty to go around. Now let's get back to Soren's fortress and see how the wither storms are doing against those endermen. Or a fortress. I see Endermen, so this means the plan's working, right? Shouldn't the Endermen have dismantled those things already? I'm just confused. It's not just you. Something's wrong. Jesse, over here! Axel! You guys made it! Nice freaking armor, by the way. Makes you all a lot easier to look at. Do you still have the amulet? Safe and sound. That's not the problem. Then what is? The Endermen. They're not angry enough. I mean, some of them are, but a lot of them are just standing around moving blocks. You know, being Endermen. Ah, uh, Well, it's not a thing we can't handle, right? Uh, I'm not so sure about that. Now is not the time for cold feet, Soren! So what's the plan? I mean, I know we gotta go in there, but... Need to find a way for me to use this. Whoa, that is without question the 
coolest thing I have ever, ever seen. Oh, me too! Nice, Jesse! Petra, you saw that back at the Farlands. It's still cool. Oh, I brought you some armor, Axel. Here. Nice! I was feeling a little left out. Guys, let's go kick some command block butt. See the command block? I don't think it's exposed. We need to get more Enderman focused on the winter storm. How do you make Enderman focus? I can't even make myself focus. We we shouldn't be here. None of this is going according to plan. Soren, what are you doing? I uh, you know, I've I've really enjoyed meeting you. Run away? Soren, you coward! I can't believe you! I can. Jesse, you can handle things out here, right? What? I can't let him get himself killed! Just get to the command block and destroy it! Soren! So much for the mighty order of the stone. Doesn't matter. We have work to do. We need to get those Endermen to attack it! Beam. Jesse, that's it! Make them chase you into the tractor beam! How do you like that, you purple-eyed freak? Yes, they're falling for it. Uh. Uh. Axel, are those snowballs? Yeah, I found them near the cave. Here. All right, let's see how you like it. Find you a way up. Or build you a way up. That's it. E everyone, empty your pockets. Let's see. I've got redstone and cobblestone from Ivor's armor. I have some TNT from Boomtown. I've got pistons, repeaters. Lucas gave me some wool. Oh, and I took some slime from the maze. Oh, and I still have that mine cart. That's got to be enough to make something, right? I mean, if we use the TNT on, say, the mine cart or those pistons. And we do have all that. Cobblestone. Maybe we could build a ramp? Guys, check it out. Use the pistons, the redstone, and the TNT to build a TNT launcher. I 
climb on, and you guys blast me all the way into the Wither Storm. <laughs> Heck yeah! I love that idea. So what are we waiting for? Let's hurry up and... Oh, look out! Petra! Axel! Lots. Distract that wither storm. Hey, you! Get a load of this! No! <laughs> Lucas, thank you. Anything for a friend. Now let's hurry up and build this thing. Done yet? Need a few more seconds. Okay, it's finished. Quick, climb on. Jesse, you can do this. I know you can. We all do. Thanks, guys. It means a lot. Now go demolish that command block. Ruben, this is no place for. Shouldn't have surprised me like that. On the other hand, I'm kind of glad not to be alone right here. Just stay close, okay?
told you to stay put. Wrong. I don't want you caught up in it. Bet you can't catch me! Ah! Why did I have to look down? Jesse, are you all right? We thought you were... I mean... I didn't think you'd made it. Reuben! Where's Reuben? I thought I was with you! I remember! I remember! You remember what? I remember everything! Oh, Petra! I'm so happy for you! Hey, hey! Do you guys hear something? Reuben! <gasps> oh no! Reuben! You're a hero, you know that? You just helped save the world. Come on, Reuben, say something. It's okay, boy. I'm here. I'm here. Jesse, I am... I am so sorry. He was a great pig.
People used to look at me like that once, Jesse. Perhaps they deserve to know the truth about the Order. All those lies we told them. Maybe I should finally come clean. Don't tell them, Gabriel. Just let them have their legend. We all owe a great debt to Jesse and his friends. But I owe a debt to you people as well. Which is why... There is something I want to tell you. About the Order. We may have defeated the Ender Dragon, but that is nothing compared to what these heroes did. They took down a Witherstorm. They are a new generation of heroes. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I know you think I'm up here because I saved the world or something. But the truth is, I didn't do it alone. Far from it. You see, I had my friends with me. It was Olivia, Axel, Petra, Lucas. They stood by my side right from the start. Well, and they made fun of me when I deserved it. That's just how we are. Dang right we are. It's crazy to think my friends and I started out in a treehouse, and now we've been to some of the weirdest places in the world. I mean, come on, we went to the Far Lands. It was this gigantic wall and a huge maze and a model of the Ender Dragon that, well, you just had to be there. But when all was said and done, you know what really mattered? My hero, Reuben the pig. He may have seemed like just a pig to most people, but he was so much more. And at the end of the day, he saved us all. For Reuben! <laughs> Jesse, this Nether Star is all that remained when the Witherstorm was destroyed. Would you please do the honors? Oh man, this is gonna be so cool. to introduce to you the new Order of the Stone. And so it was that a new Order of the Stone was born, one whose adventures were only just beginning. For though the world had been saved, and the command block destroyed, there are many more worlds than just this one.